Natalie Bodie here with NCAA Digital, joined by junior defender Macy Bell of North Carolina. Macy, we're only a few weeks into the season, but you've got to feel good about the way you and your teammates have kicked things off, winning four straight games. So what has been the key to this early success? I think a lot of it stems from just our leadership. Um, we don't have very many upperclassmen on the team right now. So the few of us have really stepped up in that regards. Um, to take the team like under our wing and also these freshmen that have come in have just been amazing and they have totally bought in so that's also really helped. Let's take a step back and talk about the beginning of your career at North Carolina where you led the back line as a freshman. You led the team in minutes played, you scored two game winning goals and you were named the ACC freshman of the year. Did you imagine that in year one you would have that type of impact? No, I couldn't have even dreamed to have a year like that. Um, I came in, I didn't even know if I was going to play. So that was amazing to come in and start. And then Lada and all those upperclassmen when I came in just took me under their wing and I would not have had the season without all of my amazing teammates. Last season, you missed most of the spring due to an injury. Walk us through the timeline of that injury and what the recovery process has been like. Um, so I had surgery on my ankle. I had a ligament replacement in March, I believe. Um, and it took about, it was supposed to be a four month recovery. So I had initially planned to not play any of the spring season. Um, but I really honed in on my rehab um, and worked with Brandy, who is our athletic trainer and went in every single day and ended up making a recovery in half the time. So I came back in two months and I was able to play in the Elite Eight in the final four games. Um, so yeah, it was a dream come true because I genuinely did not believe that I was gonna be able to play in the spring. So it was awesome to come back. So at this point, do you feel like you are back at 100% after that injury? Yes, definitely. I took this summer to get my body right and get touches and train with the courage and definitely back to 100%. Last year, the season ended for your side in the semifinals against eventual national champion Santa Clara. What did your team take away from that game to prepare for this season? I think that they just came out and they were better prepared and they were the better team. And so we have to go into each game like with the mentality that Maybe soccer wise, they might be better, but we're going to give 100% effort at all times. And then we're going to be 100% prepared. And I also think this year we just have an enormous amount of talent. So using that to our advantage as well. Obviously, North Carolina has a long history of success with over 20 national championships. And every year the Tar Heels are expected to be national contenders. But what makes this year's team special? Um, This year's team, I think. I think that our team chemistry is wonderful this year, better than any of the years that I've been um, here in the past. Um, I think that our recruiting class, our freshman class is awesome. A lot of them have stepped up into starting roles and they have been scoring goals after goals. They're stepping up in the back. And I think that's what makes us different. And also our leadership um, throughout the field. Looking ahead to this weekend, as part of the number two team in the country, you're hosting number 10 Stanford at home. What are you looking forward to in that exciting top 10 matchup? I know for me, it means a lot because we lost to them in the national championship two years ago. So it's just kind of like the rematch. And I know that a lot of players, there's just a lot of emotion that goes into it because of that. And we know that Stanford is an amazing team who has amazing players, but we also are confident in ourselves that we can match them and if not beat them. You mentioned that feeling of revenge from a national championship loss, but what will really be the key in getting a win over Stanford on Sunday? I think just every single player knowing their role and doing their job. Um, we can't shut off for like one minute and we have to, I know coming off the Ohio state game, we really struggled in that game. So just like defensively making sure we're compact and everything else. And just, I think our leadership overall. So now in your third season at North Carolina, do you have any specific individual goals for this season? Obviously to help my team in any way that I can. Um, I feel like this season I've really stepped up in a leadership position. So leading them, 
and then obviously playing to the best of my ability and maybe getting some looks from the full national team and stuff like that. Thank you so much for joining me today, Macy, and best of luck with the rest of the season. Perfect. Thank you.